Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm going to be bringing you our April Family Reading Crate unboxing. So this month's crate was all about books at sea, so stories that center around sea voyages or adventures at sea or life on islands or in the ocean or things to do with oceans, basically. Let's just get into what's inside the box. So every month you get a booklet and the booklet contains discussion questions, topic starters, rabbit trails, ideas to follow, and things to just help you to get more out of the books that are included. It also contains a link that will take you to our website where you can find free printables and new book recommendations mm. and all that good stuff. You also get our custom bookmarks. So this month book, the bookmarks are super cute as always. My son designs these and we have this one on the side. This is the ad. If you, so if you saw the ad online you saw this picture with the boat and the captain reading and the mast and the sails look like a book and the little fishy is in the ocean reading. So cute. And then this might be my, my favorite bookmark that my son has done. So here's little Mr. Blobfish sitting on an open book reading with his monocle. <laughs> I just, I love that. That might be my favorite thing. And then my daughter made this bookmark for us about a year or so ago and we decided to include it and this is her Pigs in Literature bookmark. So the fun extra this month is just these little stuffed fish. You get two per box. My daughter loves these. She's the one who's putting the pears into the boxes and choosing which ones she gets to keep. <laughs> and now let's get into the books. Starting with the picture book, I have The Blobfish Book by Jessica Olin, and this book is precious. I love this. This is so cute. This is a book about deep sea life, and it looks, you know, like deep sea photography type stuff. And you get to meet some deep sea creatures, but the blobfish is interjecting his own thoughts and ideas, and it's very meta, very fun. So if you're following along with the Build Your Library Reading Challenge, this counts as a book that is meta. The book I chose for the read aloud is Argos, the story of Odysseus is told by his loyal dog by Ralph Hardy. This book mm -hmm. is basically the Odyssey, but told by Odysseus's dog, who is staying at home with his family on Ithaca, taking care of Penelope and Telemachus, and he learns about the journeys of Odysseus from birds and bats and other animals that come and speak to him. And it's cute. It is the story of the Odyssey, though, so expect there to be a little bit of violence, a little bit of, like, sad or upsetting scenes. It is a children's book. If you have a very sensitive reader, they might not enjoy this as much. If you enjoy adventurous stories, this is great. The book I chose for older readers is Beyond the Bright Sea by Lauren Wolk. This is actually maybe one of my favorite books that I've read this year thus far. It's beautiful. This is a very beautiful lyrical story about a girl who has been washed up on this island when she was a baby. She was basically at birth set in a boat and she ended up on this island. She was found by a man named Osh and he's raised her ever since and she's got a lot of questions about where she came from. It takes place in the 1920s on the Elizabeth Islands off of Massachusetts and it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. I can't really go into a lot of detail because a lot of what makes the story great is having the mystery of who she really is unravel and it's just, it's a beautiful story about what family means, and it's such a lovely, lovely story. And the book that I've chosen for you, the parent, is The Midnight Watch by David Dyer. This is a story about the Titanic, but what I really appreciated about it is it's about the Titanic from the perspective of a journalist and the um, captain and first mate, I think, of the Californian. The, the ship that was so close that they could have rescued most of the people that were 
dying in the sinking of the Titanic, except that they ignored the rockets and they ignored the calls for help for whatever reason. And that's what the story is about, unraveling why the Californian ignored those calls for help when they were right there. Like they could see the Titanic, the Titanic, the people on it could see the Californian, but no one came to help. So that's what this book is. It's very well written, very good, interesting, like mystery kind of story, even though you know basically the premise of what happens on the Titanic. It's a familiar story told in a different way, which I really appreciated. So I hope you enjoy that. That is what you'll get in the April Family Reading Crate. We do still have some boxes. They didn't sell out this month, so we do still have some. So if you want one, click the link below and it'll take you to a page where you can purchase one and learn more about all of our family reading crates. And I hope to see you guys in May for our Books in Space box. <laughs> I, I can't think it in my head without it sounding like that. Books in Space. So I'm really excited about that box because I just did a few months back the sci-fi but without space box. So then I kept thinking I really want to do one that's books about space. So. That is what you can expect next month. I'm really excited. I have some great books lined up for that, so I'm pretty psyched to get into it. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy reading. Bye!